Hey everybody, welcome back. Another episode of the FIFA 20 Career Mode Youth Edition with Mansfield Town. Uh, we are here, I think it's episode 3, and it is uh, time to get right into another match. Uh, this is a home match against Plymouth Argyle, and uh, we're going with the same lineup uh, that we went with the last game. We got Olsen up top, Azevedo in the cam roll in the middle. A bar out left, Robinson out uh, to the right. He's been doing some great things. Dior and Rogerson holding down the middle. Uh, Ndaye, Kuwase, Diallo, and Koulibaly, the Ivory Coast back line that we got. And then Carter in between the sticks. So let's get going and see if we can't secure another victory to round out this month. All right, here we are on our home turf. It's a bright, beautiful, sunny day against Plymouth Argyle. Bob Ross, he is feeling the energy, as you can tell by his mopey face. Maybe he needs a Red Bull. I think he does. Somebody get that man a Red Bull. All right, looking to kick this one off. Let's go. Oh, Robinson misses with the tackle. Argyle's got a nice chance here. Cross into the box. We got to get it out. Oh, awful clearance. Somebody get the ball out. Thank you. Rogerson's got it. Playing a nice ball out wide to Ibarra. Ibarra's cutting back inside. He's got space. Oh, and he passes it right to the keeper. What a dork. Oh, Koulibaly's got a little bit of... Oh, my gosh. Koulibaly gets taken out. Ref. It's a little egregious, don't you think? Right, Plymouth Argyle making a run. Oh man, we totally botched that defense. They're in the box. Oh, it was a good thought from Riley. He strikes the ball. Unfortunately, he might need a pair of glasses because he can't see the goal. Oh my gosh, Plymouth Argyle steals away the ball if we try and play it out from the back. The shot. Oh, good clearance by the defense. Well, looks like we might have our first yellow card here. Dior was uh, coming back, trying to make a tackle. It was just an unfortunate incident. Late tackle on the, the player. <laughs> Trips him up pretty bad. Glad that's not a red. Looks like Dior got away with one there. Well, Plymouth Argyle again with an absolute horrible shot. Maybe they were just kicking it to one of their fans. As a souvenir. Oh, my God, Kawasi, what are you doing? You jackass. Oh, that shouldn't count at all. I want to redo. My God, that was the worst. Carter plays it out to Kawasi. Kawasi's got his thumb in his ass. Doesn't know what to do. Tries to pass it back to Carter. And just steps away from the ball. Plymouth Argyle gets it, it clings off the sidebar into the opposite side netting. Oh my goodness. Just an awful, awful play by Carter and Kawasi. And Bob Ross is furious. Let's see if we can get this one back. Oh, Rogerson's got possession in the midfield. That was a good takeaway by the defense. Does he have any help? No, he doesn't. He does his man in, still keeps it in the center. We got a go, oh, what a chip shot by Olsen. Not much power behind that one, and the keeper easily grabs it. And our defense has been under a lot of pressure, making some mistakes like that. Kuwasi, you big dumbass. Plymouth Argyle again with the shot. Thank God we get it out. Dior takes possession, kind of cuts through the middle here. He's very excited about what he sees. Oh, plays a beautiful ball to Olsen. Olsen gets past this man, takes a shot right into the top corner. Olsen with the goal. He's telling her, come on, teammates, let's do a dance. I don't know what the hell kind of dance that is. Who knows? Let's uh, move on. Here's the replay. Olsen just... Takes the ball, strike right into the top corner. 
Beautiful play, beautiful pass in. Just a great, great showing of teamwork and skill. 1-1. Dior coming hot. Dior's coming hot. Helps to regain possession. Koulibaly plays it right to Plymouth Argyle. Luckily, our defense is holding their line. And what an awful shot. Plymouth Argyle trying to... Oh, what a shot. What a strike by Plymouth Argyle. Carter just fist pumping his way. Did he get a piece of this? No, it actually looks like a handball. He did. He did get a piece of it. So, yeah, fist pump Carter. Great save. Another corner. We're into stoppage time. About a minute to go. Oh, push right in the back, ref. How about, how about some help on that or something? And that's the half. Well, we brought it back to a 1-1 draw. Let's see if we can't drink some Red Bull at halftime in the locker room so we can come out firing on all cylinders. Oh, Olsen gets possession in the middle of the field. Try to knock him off the ball. It's not working. Jumps over his defender. Plays a pass to Dior. Dior takes a shot. Oh, it's off the top bar. Oh, Dior trying to make up for that heinous foul in the first half. Takes a great strike and doing right off the top bar. Bob Ross just, oh, he's depressed. Dior passes it to Rogerson. What a great ball. Rogerson cuts up. He's going to play it to Azevedo. Azevedo's got a space. Oh, what a great save by Palmer, the keeper. Good stuff. Azevedo tries to take a turn. Palmer does a hip check on the ball. And Bob Ross, once again, looks like he might have some diarrhea coming on. Chest pass to Robinson. Robinson's going to turn on the Jets. He's got a defender on him, a defender in front of him. He cuts inside. Smart pass to Olsen. Olsen turns, takes a strike right into the belly of the keeper. Die has got it out wide. Oh, turns his man around inside out. You know what it's all about. Plays it to Ibarra. Ibarra chips it in the middle. Oh my god, right over the hill. Oh, we got it back. Rogerson doesn't know what to do with it. And we lose possession. Great steal by Azevedo. Now Ibarra. Out wide. Azevedo cuts it back inside. He's got some room. He might just take a strike here. Azevedo takes a strike right to Palmer. Argyle's coming down the wing hard. Coming down the wing hard. They got two players in the box. Looks like they kick it right into Koulibaly's chest. All right, we got substitutions coming in for Plymouth Argyle. Let's take this time to check out our team. Well, Dior's on a yellow card. His, uh, his stamina is just not doing very well right now. About the 72nd minute, so let's go ahead and sub out Dior. Let's put in Wilson. All right, so we're making our change. We got Wilson coming in for Dior. It's a 1-1 one -one match, 72nd minute. All right, looks like Carter's uh, got the ball. He's going to toss it over the head of the Plymouth Argyle defender. What the hell is he doing? Thank God Plymouth Argyle's attacker heads the ball right over our goal. What a complete moron. 80th minute. Plymouth Argyle trying to set something up here. We don't really have a whole lot of guys forward. Only takes one. It looks like we block it. It goes out of bounds. We got a goal kick coming to us. Let's take this opportunity. Oh my god. Once again, the pressure from Plymouth Argyle on our defense is, uh, is a force to be reckoned with. They've already scored once on a defensive mishap. Let's not give him another free goal. Wilson's in the middle. He's got some room to work with. He might just take a strike here. And it's out wide. Wilson, you big doofus. All right, yeah, Robert Ross says, come on, keep that stuff going. Wilson with a horrible shot. Perhaps his shoelaces are untied. And that is the final whistle. Mansfield Town 1, Plymouth Argyle 1. Teams are pretty evenly matched, but 
we did give him that one goal. It should have been a 1-0 victory for the boys. Instead of taking three points, we get one. I guess we'll have to accept the result. There's no point in protesting and picketing. Nobody gives a shit about that. It's another look at that awful freebie goal we gave to him. Carter just has concrete in his shoes and just can't get off the ground to save the ball. All right, looking at the match facts. They had 11 shots to our eight. We did have 51% possession, so it was kind of even. But uh, our shot accuracy was a lot better. We just couldn't couldn't find a way to get that extra goal. All right, looking at the ratings, looks like Olsen's the man of the match. He's got an 8.0. Nothing else, uh, you know, really to mention there. Everybody else kind of an average performance. All right, so here's the post-match interview. I'll show you a few of these. Robert Ross taking some heated questions from the media. No chance for Sweeney today? Well, what I really want to say is Sweeney's a real player, and in this youth edition career mode, we don't use the real players. What I'm going to say to Sweeney is, you reap what you sow, you jackass. If you weren't a real player, maybe you'd get some playing time. Next question. Once you get the equalizer in the first half, did you expect to get a win in the end? That's a really dumb question. Of course. We expected a win today. Winning was the expectation. I would have liked to see us push forward more after pulling level and go for the win. So the question is, how would you analyze your opponent's performance? I'd say we played well. They played well, given that they managed to draw us. We made some mistakes, which they managed to exploit. All I can say is, Thanks, well played. We have for you. No more questions. Robert Ross exits stage left. All right, so that uh, brings us to the beginning of the next month. And uh, we got a Youth uh, Squad Academy report. It looks like none of these 15-year-olds have turned 16 yet. All right, so our scouts have reported back at the beginning of the month. Theo Utzinger brought us back three potentials. The first one is Fabrice K Kudawan. Fabrice Kudawan from the Ivory Coast. He's 15. It's so a 54 overall, but his potential 77 to 94, six foot tall left back who's defensive minded. Another great 15 year old uh, brought back by Theo Utzinger. He also brought us back Bubakar Sang Sangari. Bubakar Sangari, another 15 year old, but his overall 60, which he can make an immediate impact. He's a left back, defensive minded. Potential 69 to 93. So brought us back two left backs here in Fabrice Kudwan and Babubakar Sangari. He also brought us back one other one, Elaine Fofana. Now his numbers aren't great, 50 overall, 59 to 79 potential, but the last name Fofana is funny enough that I want to bring him into the academy because we can do chants like Fofana, Fana, Fofana, Banana Fana, Fofana, Me, My, Mo, Mana, Fofana. Anyway, moving along. Stefanos Kalibas brought us back Brian Martin. He's a 48 overall, right back, physically strong. His potential 53 to 73. So he's kind of a crappier player as far as numbers go. But if you'll notice, he's six foot five, physically strong. I wanted to bring him into the academy. I think we might want to have a big, tall, strong defender uh, on our team, on our reserve. So we're going to keep him in the academy and see what comes of him. He also, he also brought us back Wayne Wolf. He is a center back, 51 overall, 57 to 75 potential, six foot tall, physically strong. Again, Good for the reserves, not really good enough for the first team later on down the line, but he is somebody that we can uh, take a look at. He also brought us back Victor Haber. Now he's a six foot two left back, 56 overall, potential 57 to 77. So he's somebody that can come into the first team, make a big impact. Uh, I think what we're going to do right now is we are going to sign Victor Haber into the first team. So Victor Haber. Welcome to Mansfield Town. Caleb Rose brought back Charles Kelly. 
He's a five foot nine right midfielder. He's a playmaker. And he's a 56 overall, potential 62 to 84. So he's, again, somebody that can come into the first team um, with his overall the way it is. He could be, you know, somebody that can jump right in. So Charles Kelly from England, welcome to Mansfield Town. All right, so now we got to look at Wayne Wolf. Uh, this is somebody that can come in as a reserve. His potential certainly isn't the greatest, um, but he's physically strong. Is somebody that can kind of bolster our lineup as we look to sell off all of the uh, real players. We're going to need players. So Wayne Wolf, welcome to Mansfield Town. All right, so we have to send our scouts out again, at least two of them. Uh, Stefanos Kalivas, uh, he's ready to go back out. So we're going to set up a scouting network for him. Kalivas was in North America. I think it was in the United States the last time. So we're going to move him one continent down to South America. Lots of countries to scout here. Let's just plop right in the middle to Brazil. Let's go Brazil for three months, and we are going to scout. We're going to stay with physically strong players. Theo Utzinger, I believe Theo was um, maybe in the Ivory Coast um, for, for three months. So we are going to keep him in Africa. We'll go one country over to Ghana. Now, for him, we are going to be looking for playmakers for three months in Ghana. All right, so a new month. We've got uh, four, actually, we have five league games here in October, uh, all of them on Saturdays, and then they stick a random Tuesday in there against Salford. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're actually going to start some training uh, this month. We're going to get that set up to see if we can... Um, Get these youth talent uh, some extra stats. Um, and then we're going to work our way towards Grimsby Town on the 5th of October. And we'll go from there. All right, so we got some training set up here. We're training Carter uh, as a goalkeeper, trying to prove him a little bit. Then we're training Dior in his penalties and finishing. We're training Kuwasi. In his vision and his short passing. And we're training Kuwame with uh, some finishing skills, shot power, short pass, finishing, and attack position. Now he's a six foot two striker. And um, we want to try and get his uh, stats up a little bit so we can start getting him into the first team. Kuwame. So let's simulate all that training and see how we do. All right. Kind of average. Uh, Carter goes up a little bit. I mean, he all went up a little bit, so uh, every little bit helps. Now let's advance to the game against Grimsby Town. And here's just an insight of what we're doing with our current uh, real players in the squad. We just got a transfer offer for for Law, uh, Jason Law, for a fee of one hundred seventy thousand uh, to go to Falcons Falkenberg's FF. So what we're doing is we're just taking the offers that we get and we're just accepting them straight out. So we've accepted this offer and now it's up to him and the other club and his agent to uh, go ahead and, and try and get a contract uh, set up for the other team. But uh, every offer that we get for real players, we're just going to accept every single one of them uh, to try and get these real players shipped off. All right, so here we are. We got Grimsby Town at home. We are the away side. We're wearing our home jerseys because our away jerseys are a little too close uh, in coloration with the uh, Grimsby Town jerseys. I don't want to get confused. Uh, so for our lineup today, the only change that I made is I've put Kuwame up top as that striker, the six foot two striker. Let's see if he's got a. Uh, uh, something for us uh, and also I've changed the reserves around a little bit to get some of these newer youth players a chance all right here we are it's an away game Grimsby Town is at home defending their home turf let's see if Mansfield Town can come in and get a victory We've got our home kits on just to not get confused with the Grimsby Town side here we go Grimsby Town's going to start off with the ball it's one of the Hanson brothers. Mm bop. 
I didn't know they played soccer. Kawami's on the outside. Beats his man. Cuts back in the middle. Oh, he's got a great ball. A great ball. Robinson. Robinson's got it. He's on it. He's going to take the shot. Oh, what a great, great save by Grimsby Town's keeper. And the ball goes out for a throw in. Robinson swings it in. Steps inside. Azevedo has a chance at a header right to the Grimsby Town keeper. Grimsby Town plays the long ball. Oh, what an awful... Oh, my God. An awful header. I guess... I think it was Kuwasi. Makes a horrible mistake giving the ball back to Grimsby Town's attacker. And his shot is an absolute shit show. Well, Dior cuts it back inside. That's a beautiful play. Loses possession. Rogerson's there to mop it up. Comes inside the box. Takes a shot. Oh, what a great diving save by McCown from Grimsby Town. Grimsby Town with possession in the middle. Ibarra takes the steal. He's got some steam. Moving ahead outside. Nobody's on him. The defender runs right by him. Ibarra. Ibarra takes a shot. Oh, McCown with the save from Grimsby Town. Oh, Grimsby Town plays a beautiful ball over the top of our defense. It's Rose swinging in the cross, maybe. Oh, great defense by Kuasi. But Grimsby Town is still attacking. Oh, amazing shot. Just, just, a bit, just a bit outside. They're going to cross it in. Rogerson there to knock it out. Oh, look out. Robinson's got space. Nobody's on him. Does he have the legs? He's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. It's amazing. Can he do it? Oh, my God. Robinson, you big dope. Oh. Robinson. With the absolute shit show of a strike. And Robert Ross says, you dumbass. I was thinking about his options. Wow, kind of fakes out that midfielder there. And he's going to take it down the side. Plays a beautiful long ball to Ibarra. Ibarra with the tricky pass. Oh, my goodness. The cold keeper missed it. Azevedo's there to sweep it in. Oh, Azevedo. Says, come on, everybody. Let's come on over here and do this stupid dance again. Hey, uh, ho, uh, hey, uh, ho, uh, ho, uh. Okay, that's enough of that. Wow. What a great little pass. The keeper just whiffs on it, and Acevedo's there to knock it right in the back of the net. Well, Grimsby Town's trying to play the ball over the top again. Oh, what a little chip shot by the Grimsby Town, and Carter makes a beautiful save. Looked like that was going to be a floater to the top corner. Boop. Oh, Carter knocks it away. Great, great save. Well, plays it out wide, Ibarra. Oh, and Barr's got Ndaye making a wide run. And Ndaye cuts it in the box. Takes a shot. Oh, McCowan saves it for Grimsby Town. We're going to start to amp up the pressure here on Grimsby Town. Let's see if it works. Nope. It doesn't work. Oh, my God. Our defense is doing horrible. Oh, man. Clifton's there. The defense breaks down. I don't know what we're doing. We just let Clifton get right behind us, and he chips it right in the top corner of the goal. Grimsby Town evens it up 1-1. And that is the end of the first half. Well, we weren't able to keep a clean sheet. Looks like Grimsby Town's on the move here with that goal. Never fear. One more half to go. All right, second half, Mansfield Town starts. Carter's working it at his feet. He says, you know what? I got some space. I'm giving it a go. Carter, straight up the field. What the hell are you doing, you idiot? Plays the long ball. It's a great ball to Robinson. Robinson, maybe he'll do another one of his signature shoot and scores, but no, he chips over the top, and we can't close the deal. Carter. Our keeper with an attitude. Dior is out of juice. He's going to play a ball for Azevedo. Azevedo is going to play it out for Kwame. Kwame's going to take it in. He shoots! 
right over the keeper into the back of the net. Kwame's first goal. It's his first debut appearance, his first goal. The big stud does the Superman slide, fist pumps. Everybody's coming, taking pictures, singing songs, whatever else they do to celebrate. Great strike. Kwame takes the ball, works it back to the inside, and strikes it right into the back of the net over the left side of the keeper. The keeper tries. Valiant effort. Not good enough. 2-1 Mansfield Town. All right, Grimsby Town making a substitution. And Mansfield Town's going to do the same thing. Rogerson's coming off. Dior's coming off. We've got a central defensive midfielder. And then Charles Kelly with his debuts coming on. Throwing for Grimsby Town. Grimsby Town gets in the box. Looks like we're going to maintain possession maybe. Oh, an awful shot by Grimsby Town. No. Contemplate your life. There's Kelly. Kelly says, get off me. It's my first match. Give me a chance here. He's got some speed. He's got the stamina. Oh, plays a great ball. Kuami kicks the keeper right in the face. Grimsby Town save. One minute left. I Ibar says, I'm taking it. He's out of juice. Well, oh man, what's, what can he do here? He's going to play it in the middle and lose possession. And that's it. Final whistle. Mansfield 2, Grimsby Town 1. We have succeeded in taking three points on the road. A great victory. Some great shots. We'll take a look at the box score, the match facts, and the player ratings as Robert Ross. Still fist bumping. Let's take a look at the match facts. We got uh, 10 shots to 8. Uh, Grimsby Town. Uh, possession was pretty much even. Shot accuracy was really uh, ahead of par from Mansfield Town. And um, let's take a look at player ratings. Man of the match, Azevedo, 9.1. Kwame with an 8.3. Ibarra with an 8.7. Uh, we got Kuwasi in the back with an 8.1. Carter, 7.5. Looks like a good showing for the team as we take three points on the road. Good job, boys. All right, that's, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, the next episode, we'll try and knock out a few more of these games here. Oldham, we got Forest Green, we got Salford, we got Walsale. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like to leave a like, if you uh, want to say something, comment, subscribe for more content, hit the bell notification to uh, learn about all the uploads coming your way. Thanks for letting me be a part of your day and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.